I think I think the edge is so special. A one big family where you learn new things, meet new people, make new friends. A place where everyone is treated as equal uh, and everyone is made to feel equally welcome. They're, they're so supportive to people. You know, they help young mums, they help a young man to find accommodation and try and live an ordinary life. I think it's achieved what a lot of a lot of other organisations perhaps haven't. Been founded and run by people who are very inspiring, who put community before themselves. You know me when you're strong. My name is Tom Crump and I work for the Youth Inquiry Service in Brixham. The Edge is the name of the building that the Youth Inquiry Service occupies. So we, the Yes Centre, operate out of the, the Edge in Brixham. My name is Rose Colton and I help run the Young Volunteer team on a Wednesday night and tonight we're at the Stony Park allotments, getting the community allotment organised. Um, Andrea Stemmer is another helper and she has this fantastic project which involves growing willow. My name is Andrea Stemmer and I've been a volunteer at the Edge, basically helping out with the young volunteers being an old volunteer for about the last four years. I've got this community allotment on Stony Park where I've also got my own allotment. We've been creating this willow field over there where we're growing willow to eventually make baskets of. We should have very colourful baskets and different objects that we can make out of it. I'm getting in uh, people to show us how to do that. Um, and she's got all sorts of uh, ideas connected to, to that, so it's going to be really interesting. Everything like that, okay. all the way through. Okay. Don't, don't pick your nose. That's good. Don't pick your nose. That's, that's good advice, Louis. Thanks. Oh, you need to We use tyres and bars and, and boats and unusual containers for our plants and they have been planting some more uh, vegetables um, and they've also had a bonfire and they hopefully soon will be playing some beautiful music. Chris, what are you doing to me? Alright, it's uh, both Op uh, and you, Andrea, you come along and you've got to keep all of those cups down. Uh, when the weather's not quite so forgiving, uh, we generally meet up, play some games, get to know each other. The Young Volunteers is a free weekly community uh, session uh, helping young people get involved with and make a difference in the community. Oh, wow. oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that is so yeah, cool. We get up to all sorts of things on a Wednesday night. Uh, it, sometimes we get involved in arts and crafts. We have a random acts of kindness day uh, towards Christmas when, uh, and during the year we make all sorts of things to put in this decorated wheelbarrow and wheel it around the streets of Brixham giving them away for free. We all get together and play some games and we get together and we work in teams. You have to hit the cups with the stocking <laughs> with the board in the end. <laughs> when you get to the end, you run back and the person next in line takes this off, you help them on with it yeah. and they start. So we have great fun because we all mess around. Then all kinds of fun things and it keeps me out of mischief from, from the flat really. It brings, your, it brings you more confident with yourself and it shows you, it shows you that you're more independent to do things by yourself. Brixham is an area of high economic deprivation. It's not a rich place. It's an area of high cultural deprivation. There's not a lot of culture relative to the rest of the country in this part of the world. And what we have got is really precious and really worth promoting and pushing. I don't want to have a big one. You see over here? You've got to join in there. Yeah, look, everyone's doing it. You're welcome, Jake. Of course, you may help yourself to my chewing gum. So for them, it's really good to meet up 
And also I think it's very intergenerational. I think it's really nice when youngsters and old people get together and realize what they're about because in normal life and they go to school and the old people are in their homes, they don't really meet. I've been there now three and a half, well I would say three years now and I just love the atmosphere I get from it because you can help out with anything they do in the age. No, no. I'm not eating anything that's that colour. Really nice people all the time. It is like a family and you can just talk and play music and do stuff that you love. I am Liv and I am one of the people that play in one of the bands at the Ed Centre which is a student band and we play uh, every two months or so at a gig. Last Friday was one of our uh, quarterly live music events so we had all the different groups and musicians that we know through the S-Centre and meet up for one great big glorious um, evening of live music. I played the saxophone and, and basically sang at the gig and I sang um, Billie Jean by Michael Jackson and they made me dress up like Michael Jackson as well. <laughs> I love the fact that you get uh, uh, you learn to meet new people and you get to you learn to trust other people. We came to the edge because Tom, our music teacher, was always telling us about what happens and we said, well, we want to come and he went, okay, put, let's put a band together. So we were like, okay, and he turned up one day and we turned up and did a gig together. And that's how it was. And that's how it was. Hi, I'm Mark and I'm here from Ocean Youth Radio. We're here to do a live broadcast of the, what's it, the magnificent musical, may, not mayhem, me memorable, mesmerising musical moment. Another reason why I come to the edge on a Saturday to do music with them, Tom and the rest of the gang. The point of the gig is just to celebrate music because music is the best thing in the world and deserves to be celebrated every possible opportunity. It is um, a really unique opportunity um, for there to be a professional stage that everyone gets to share. So the amazing thing about the gigs is you will get seasoned experienced professional musicians next to a ten year old child that's never been on stage before. The emphasis of the evening somehow isn't about that, but it's about music instead, which is overwhelmingly amazing. <laughs> I'm not going to say because we'll put it in the documentary. Yeah, I know you will. Yeah, I'm not going to do it on camera. How do you pronounce Quavers? <laughs> How do you Is there anything else you need? How do you pronounce Quavers? Before I get back and join in on this, you say Quavers. Before I get back in. <laughs>